did your child have a diagnosis with autism before coming to see us? And if so, what was the diagnosis? Yes, he was having it, having the diagnosis of uh, autism spectrum disorder. And uh, so, yes. Okay. And um, a lot of autism parents are really stressed out with their life. Uh, can you share with us maybe um, what was it like raising a child with autism and the effect it had on your life or your loved ones before you began seeking the treatment with Dr. Davis? What was your life like before our autism treatment began? Um it was a tough journey until that point before we met uh, Dr. Davis in terms of uh, the sleep routines, um, his uh, he, the kid being a picky eater, um, um, he cannot, uh, you know, withstand a noisy, slightly noisy backgrounds. Um, so all these made uh, the life tougher uh, for us as a family um, until we got to uh, this functional medicine with Dr. Davis. And what would you say are the most challenging areas that you faced with while dealing with the autism with your child, the, um, things that really caused you to come to us for our help? Yeah, I think the sleep routines, the, the, the picky eat, eating habits, um, the different behaviors, uh, um, just running in circles or what, uh, you know, all the behaviors that comes with the diagnosis, all that was leading up to find um, a solution, which will be a permanent solution, even if it's going to be um, a long uh, uh, running, not a short of, um, uh, not a short uh, journey in terms of correction, you know, resolution. But it's going to be even slightly longer for a couple of years to a few years. We were fine, but it wanted a permanent solution. That made us to lead to uh, uh, this functional medicine as we heard about it and also about Dr. Davis with her personal story. So we went for it. Okay, great. And uh, when you first started with Dr. Davis, what was your experience with that initial first visit when you met Dr. Davis in person or virtual? How did she make you feel and what was your experience with that first visit? Um, I think I thought she uh, she explained her um, uh, the she explained the functional medicines and uh, um, and about the functional medicine in terms of in how you treat your body and then in turn which treats your mind. So she explained about the gut brain axis thing, uh, so to speak. And uh, so that helped us, you know, understand, you know, how can this medicine actually or may help the kid. Um, and also she shared uh, uh, more insights about the gut health um, in terms of the different variety of tests that we are going to upfront take. And then uh, what is a potential, um, you know, what are the possible outcomes, right? Uh, from this whole, uh, you know, medicinal journey that we'll take with functional medicine. Great. Okay. And were there any moments when you felt particularly supported or understood by Dr. Davis during our autism treatment program? And if so, can you please explain? Yeah, I thought, you know, uh, whenever we encountered scenarios of, uh, um, the new medicine, right, as we add in during the course of functional medicinal treatment, um, she helped us with explanation um, with what these, what the toxin is and uh, what is the medicine, uh, the pill or the liquid medicine that's, that is going to be an intake to, uh, to basically, um, uh, you know, lessen the um occur, you know impact of the toxin or remove the toxin permanently that information uh, whenever there is new medicine act added we were always looking for that information right and uh, she was supportive in in terms of explaining you, you know of, and um, and uh, especially with her weekly connect uh, meetings um which is uh, which is great i thought uh, that helps us uh, you know there is no waiting time here right 
uh, you are able to connect weekly and able to clarify so th- all these points i would say she was supportive of in providing insights and also doing a weekly connects okay wonderful and what would you say were some of the key turning points in your journey with autism with all of our help from the very beginning up to now what would you say some where you notice some areas or some turning points or some major changes um with your child um sleep routines it is regular um regular sleep routines regular uh potty um usage by the kid appropriately uh so potty training um even though there is couple of areas to improve on the potty training there is a lot of progress there um just just some of the behaviors that come with the diagnosis have almost gone um um and then the kid is able to show comprehension skills for a for a few um items um uh, so th- these are some of the you know uh, positives um or improvements i would say uh that has occurred uh, f- uh, for the kid and also you know the kid is able to help us with the um uh help us with the cooking area he is aware of danger uh, so these are some of additional items right uh, um and uh, you know even if the phone rings he is now aware of that the phone rings and he is able to come to you and hand over the phone he picks the phone and hand over to you now um aware of danger i said um yeah these are some of the things you know um the self talk has come lesser uh, so these are some of the areas i would say that we have seen uh, a, a drastic improvement nice okay and the uh communication style with you with dr davis when she would meet you virtually um how would you describe that was that an effective way to work with you yes the communication channels of um um she having giving us the online portal uh to access communicate with her send messages and um, she w- would get back uh, most of the day is the same day and um, that helped us with quick answers there's no waiting time there and um, uh, that is one way she communicated uh online portal the other way is during the weekly connect that was again through the video conference it's you are able to see her face to face kind of interaction um and whenever it's needed uh um you know we can actually uh, call her if it's totally emergency or urgent situation in terms of uh, some new behavior we see that is not tolerable for the day there is a weekend coming in so before the weekend on the friday or thursday we are able to talk to that over the phone which is apart from your daily connects sorry weekly connects so it's all good good things with that good good okay and what would you say about the treatment protocols did you understand the treatment protocols when she made the recommendations for the different supplements and did you find that they were helpful yes what were the specific improvements with your child that brought you the greatest relief or the greatest happiness for you or your family um sleep routine and uh, uh better com- comprehension skills than before um i think these are the key colors if someone is considering joining our autism treatment program but maybe they were on the fence about it and not sure about signing up with us to get our help what would you tell them what would you recommend to them i think i i think you need to read about uh, dr davis personal story of of her own kid and she is able to um you know recover the kid uh, so hear that personal story first because you need to start somewhere um so read through the story then hear her explanations of what functional medicine is and probably do your own research and reading about the functional medicine um i think this all, these two would get you the confidence of understanding how you treat your gut health 
and in turn that treats your brain health then everything may start to fall in place um for the kid as she has the kid takes the treatment um uh, so um it's important to know about the medicine and what it does to the human body and um, and for that you need to talk to dr davies hear her story and also hear her, hear from her about the medicine then maybe um you're going to be convinced what this medicine is going to do for the diagnosis and um, you know and uh, that will help you um uh, you know uh, plunge into this uh, medicinal journey uh, of functional medicine